Dr. Phil here, y'all, playing my favorite game ever, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a Japanese card game based on monsters and magic and other stuff. Rob and I love playing this after a long show, telling people what to do, helping people out, you know, same old, same old. Anyway, I'm going to start off defensively, even though this guy doesn't know what he's going to get through. There's an old saying in Texas that if you MST my face down, I'm going to use it against you like a walrus. It's a lesser known saying, but it's there nonetheless. You see, this here is a bad idea. He thinks he's going to destroy my monster, but it's just going to cause two more to appear. That's the first rule of Yu-Gi-Oh! is to be the best, like no one ever was. That's copyrighted, by the way. This here's my favorite sp It It destroys and removes from play a face-down speller trap. Very useful. You see, I get rid of a very powerful card. And this right here is very important. Y you need to synchro summon and pull off combos kind of like this. You see, I like warriors. They swarm. It, it's like they're junkies that I have to talk to and tell them they're no good. And Goyo Guardian, he's like the best because he's strong and he steals monsters. Th this is a very American card if you think about it. Going into foreign lands, stealing all their stuff. That's why I like it. This Scotch character is looking like a pickled possum under a pear tree, if you know what I mean. The other day, Robin and I were in the bedroom like we normally are, and I decided to put a light bulb up my butthole. I go further into detail this with my new book, Things I've Put Up My Butt, by Dr. Tim McGraw. It's already in stores, so be sure to pick it up. Oprah was going to put her seal on it, but she said something about it being inappropriate or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But that reminds me of a story about a group of raccoons that used to knock over a garbage can over that in Dallas. I would put out a bunch of laxatives for them, and I would watch them as they'd poop themselves all over. Now, you'd think that they wouldn't return... But apparently, raccoons love pooping, and so every night about the same time, they'd come back and scratch at my door like, Hey, where the laxatives at? But, you know, it was all in good fun, so I threw some more out there. We, we had a ball. It was good time Texas style. Oh, I lost my train of thought there. What he just did right here is full-blown retarded. I mean, sure, my Goyo Guardian's dead, but I'll get his monster. You see, he didn't think that one through, and so I'm the victor in this round. I'm like the best Yu-Gi-Oh player ever. Like, I mean, I go to my local tournament all the time, and I mop the floor with all those 10-year-olds. They don't know what hit them. And with that, that's the duel. I beat them. This has been Dr. Tim McGraw playing Yu-Gi-Oh! The Card Game. See y'all.